There are three ways to create the list of materials for an e-order. This video demonstrates quick bid. The first thing to do is enter a fence height. I'll choose 48 inch. You can press the tab key to move the cursor or click in the next field. When entering the footage of fencing, do not count the gate footage. When entering the number of end posts, do not count the gate posts as they will be accounted for later. If you need to start over, you can click this button. If you need to add a gate, click on the gate icon. There are two types of gates to choose from. Choose assembled gate if you need to purchase a gate. Choose user fabricated if you plan to fabricate your own gate or if you have a gate but need to order the gate post hinges and latches. There will not be a gate on the list of materials if you choose user fabricated. The reason this option needs to be here is so you can spec the gate posts and hardware and those items will be included in the order. I'll choose an assembled gate, single, I can narrow down the choices with these filter menus, I want one and three A's, and galvanized, and I look for the four foot wide gate that I want. Click the gate icon to add additional gates. When you are finished, click Get Quote. Notice the tabs across the top. As you choose the specs, you can view your progress. I'll click Select to choose my fabric. I can narrow down the choices by using these filter menus. The items marked S for stock items are stocked at your local Merchants Metals Service Center, subject to quantities on hand. The items marked NS for non-stock items are typically not stocked at the local service center, but which are readily available. The estimator will price out these items on your quote or order. The items marked CFQ for call for quote are non-regional or freight sensitive items. The estimator will not return a price for these specific items. The rest of the quote will price, but you must contact your local service center for a quote on the CFQ items. I'll choose the 11 gauge fabric that is in stock and click Select Item. I'll pick a tension bar. I don't need slats, so I can leave that setting alone. Notice up here how the button reads Spec Incomplete and More Information. The More Information button is handy because you can click to see what specs are missing. Continue by going to the rest of the tabs and choosing the parts you want. On the Gates tab, if your hinge and latch post specs are the same as your terminal, you can save some time by clicking Copy Terminal. When you are done, the button at the top will change to Spec Complete and the More Info button will go away. Next click Calculate to generate the quantities. You can change the quantity of an item if you like. Simply add the new number. You can also add more items. If you know the item number, put the quantity that you want and type in the number and click Add Item and you see it there. You can also look up items if you don't have the part number. Click Part Lookup. Narrow it down to just what you want. Click Search. Find the item you want and click Select and then Add Item. There you see it. When you're done, you have to enter a job name in order to get the prices. If you don't, you get this message. Keep in mind that the total price is for the items with a cost and there may or may not be some call for quote items in the list. You can print a copy of the materials list for your records. When you click the printer icon, the program automatically creates a PDF file. When you are ready to place your order, click the e-order button. Choose your order type, delivery or pickup. 
and your requested delivery or pickup date. If you choose delivery, you can change the shipping address. When you are ready, click the Submit button and a Merchants Metals representative will contact you to confirm your order.